bum bum ba dum ba dum A duck walked up to a lemonade stand And he said to the man run in the stand Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The man said no, we just sell lemonade But it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade Good morning, it's Jake Be happy, be brave, be drug free That's this year's Red Ribbon Week theme at Desert Shadows, we love our students, and we want you to lead happy, healthy, fun, and wonderful lives. We know that, that by making healthy choices, like staying drug-free, you are more likely to live the best life for you. So take a moment to commit your, to yourself that you will continue to make healthy choices to ensure a brighter future. You won't regret it. Now to Mr. Hummett and Mrs. O'Boyle with a special video. Good morning, DSMS. Real happy to be back here in the new studio with the team. I have some exciting news to share. Quarter one grade cards are now posted, and I am so happy to report we have 240 Sidewinders who have earned honor roll distinction. This means that they've earned a 3.5 grade point average, or GPA, on a four point scale. Grades in elective classes are included in this calculation. Usually this means that a student has all A's and B's on their grade card. I invite our math teachers to walk through GPA calculations with your classes when you have some extra time. GPA becomes a real high stakes game when you get into high school and begin college university applications. In order for a student to receive, receive principal's list distinction, you must have a perfect 4.0 GPA straight A's. Can you believe this? We have 262 students uh, who have made the principals list this first quarter. This is especially impressive given all that we've experienced in 2020 and the newness of going to school online and some of you now in person. Well done. Each quarter we share formal certificates. So each student who's on the honor roll and principals list is going to get a certificate. In the weeks ahead this will happen. 7th grade students who maintain a GPA of 3.8 or better will be invited to be a part of our well-established DSMS National Junior Honor Society, which is led by Mrs. Reese and Mr. Zepeda. Here's more news. Each quarter we start over. So if you didn't quite get in there for quarter one, please be encouraged to set an improvement goal for quarter two. It's important that you make your best effort at school that's what's most important to us. Thank you for listening to this message. Hello, Sidewinders. It's your favorite assistant principal, Mrs. O'Boyle. Hey, I just want to take a few minutes and talk about lunch. So far, we've been doing really great, and I know there have been a lot of changes to the way that you eat and enjoy your lunch. We're going to take another step into the direction of safety. It's going to help everybody feel safe, remain safe, stay healthy as we get through the school year. Up until this point, our instruction has been that you have to have a mask on when you stand up from your table. But what we're finding is that students keep sitting at their table long after they've finished their lunch and they have their mask down and everyone's talking and sometimes people rotate in and out and they go and sit at other tables and take their mask down. So the instruction is going to be this, moving forward, if you are eating, you can have your mask off. Once you're finished eating, your mask needs to go on. So if you want to sit around at your table with your friends, that's absolutely fine. I love seeing people socializing and seeing their friends. But if you're just sitting there and you've finished eating, we are going to ask you to put your mask back on. This is going to help us keep everybody safe. And if you do rotate from table to table and talk to different people, whether you're standing or sitting, you're going to be masked up and stop the spread of the coronavirus if it is, in fact, somewhere on our campus. I also want to say most of our students have been doing a great job with social distancing. I appreciate this. For those of you that sometimes find yourself in large clusters of people, maybe 6, 10, 12, 50 people sometimes at lunch, I would like you to think this might not be safe. With everybody clustered together in such, such close proximity, you're more likely to have physical interactions bumping into each other as well as a lot of shared error. So I'm going to ask you to monitor yourself. If you find yourself in a large group, please take it upon yourself to leave the group 
You'll see Mr. Hummer and I, we continue to break up large clusters, but go ahead and take it upon yourself to spread out a little bit more. And lastly, remember, wash your hands. We have those new sinks that we installed over by the cafeteria and the gym. I welcome you to use those hand washing stations as often as you would like. And I'd love to meet you over there and we can have a hand washing party. Hey, that's it for me. Have a great day. Hey, it's Mess. It's Alex today with the birthdays. And today's birthdays are Carrie Moore and Ryan Stockhill. Have a good birthday. And now to Megan with the sports. Hey, DSMS. It's Megan with the sports. Great job, Cardinals, with your amazing win on overtime. Great play by Zane Gonzalez to win the game. Way to come back. Now to Matthew with the lunch. Hey, it's Matthew with the lunch. For lunch today, we have mini waffles with chicken strips, a jumbo corn dog with fruit and cheese pack. Now to Emily with the weather. Hi, guys. It's Emily with the weather. Today, there's a high of 66 and a low of 48. This is probably the chilliest day of the season, and on to Cody. Well, that's all for today, DSMS. Have a marvelous Monday.